Hi, my name is Hossein Amir Ahmadi, Regulated Immigration Consultant. And I am Nikhar Asai, the Case Processing Manager. Welcome to our YouTube channel. So today we're going to discuss uh, the uh, pilot program for caregivers. This is not for nurses, but some nurses may qualify for this. There are two different NOC codes here. There is a uh, NOC code 4411, Home Child Care Provider, and 4412, Home Support Workers. These are two different NOC codes. Uh, one of them takes care of the children, as its uh, title says, and one of them takes care of the elderly. Now. To be qualified for this program, there are four uh, different uh, items that you need to have. First of all, it's education. Second, language requirements. Third one is work experience in Canada and then having a valid job offer. So we're going to go through all the four um, sections. Uh, first one is education. Education could be anything above high school diploma. If you have training that's related to uh, taking care of the children or uh, elderly, that's a good one. Now, your education has to be evaluated either by WS or the other uh, four organizations that give you a report of uh, what's your uh, equivalent to the uh, Canadian uh, degree. So the second one gonna be your language requirements. You have to take IELTS General or CELPIP General and meet the requirements of CLB5. Um, CLB5 is, uh, I, I guess, reading should be four and the three uh, remaining skills should be five. Yeah. Your work experience. Now, this is the tricky part of it. Um, you need to have two years Canadian work experience to be qualified for PR application. But without a work experience, you can apply for this program and then they give you a work permit for 36 months to come into the Canada, um, work for 24 months and then finalize your uh, application. So the way it works, you gather all your documents, uh, you apply for your PR, at the same time, you're applying for the uh, work permit. This work permit is uh, occupation specified. So it means that uh, you can work for any employer, but for the same job, for the same knock code. You cannot work as a cashier or you cannot go and work in a, a restaurant. But uh, for any other employer than the uh, employer that gave you job offer, you can do that. But if you already have the 24 months of a Canadian work experience, you do not need the job offer. So you have to have a valid job offer, but the good news is that you don't need LMIA. This is an LMIA exempt uh, you know, application and genuine job offer, full time, at least 30 hours per week, and it should be in, in those uh, you know, two knock codes, 4412, 4411. So the home child care support providers program is uh, currently closed because they met the uh, unit capacity of 2,750. But the good news is that they're going to reopen it in uh, January 1st, 2022. If you look in the description, uh, all the requirements are there. Please, uh, there is an assessment form. There is a contact us uh, information over there. Email us with your information so we can uh, assess your application and see how we can help you. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn, turn on, on your notification. notification. So you will, uh, whenever we put on the uh, new videos, uh, you get a notified so you can see us. Leave us comments, uh, like our uh, uh, videos so we can make more and more of these videos for you guys. Yes. And if you guys want to know more about the uh, registered nurse, just watch the next video.